This is the pretty much the default screen you will see when logging into any Kiwi SDR. This is my own Kiwi. Depending on what frequency the receiver has been left on, of course. And what we're going to concentrate on here is uh, in the bottom right, we've got the control panel, as I call it. The first thing I normally do, you'll see a button here labeled spec. That's for the spectrum display. By default, it's off. Let's just click that. And now, as well as the waterfall, we have a spectrum display above the waterfall. We can select meter bands here on this drop down. I'll just click that. You'll see it's arranged so that the broadcast bands are first. Then there's some utility uh, frequencies, various utilities. And then we have the armature bands. We have beacons, we have markers, and so on. So let's just click into an armature band. We'll go for 20 meters. And that takes us right into the center of the 20 meter band. Now, if we want to navigate up and down the band, there's two things we can do. We can click in the waterfall with the mouse. So we've got 14.3. Looks like there's a signal there. I can just click there with a mouse and it takes me up. I can click in the spectrum display and it brings me to the frequency of choice. So I can see another signal peak there. Click there. And you'll see this uh, little symbol here is the cursor. That's actually our tuning cursor. So as well as clicking with the mouse, we have the frequency display here in the control panel in the top left. Just below and to the right of that, we've got a series of buttons, pluses and minuses. And these are the um, buttons which we can use to navigate up and down the band. If you hover over the buttons, it gives you the step in which you'll move. So we're in AM at the moment. We should be in upper sideband as we're in 20 meters. Let's just click to upper sideband. If we hover over the plus here, it's showing that each time we click this button, we'll move one kilohertz. And we just click and move one kilohertz. Similarly, with the large minus, that will take us down the band one kilohertz. And we can move in smaller increments. The button next to it, the smaller minus button is uh, 100 uh, hertz. And then we've got 10 hertz. And then we move into the pluses. We've got plus 10 hertz, plus 100 hertz, and plus 1 kilohertz. So these are the ways that we can navigate. And lastly, what we can also do is in the frequency box there, you can see it's, uh, let's highlight that. We can directly type a frequency in there, hit enter, and that takes us there. So those are the ways that we can navigate frequency. If we look a little bit closer on our display here, under the frequency navigation buttons, we've got our modes, we've got AM. There's an AM narrow. If you hit the AM button twice, you can either have AM or AM narrow. We have synchronous AM. And there are various forms of synchronous. We've got um, just the standard sync AM. Hit it again. We've got uh, synchronous AM, but just with the lower sideband. Synchronous with the upper sideband. This is um, a sort of a stereo uh, mode, synchronous AM stereo. It um, gives you a stereo effect. And the QAM is another stereo effect on the synchronous. They're actually quite effective if, if you try them. We've got um, DRM over here. That's the digital uh, broadcast mode. There's still one or two broadcast stations that use DRM. So um, that can be quite useful. Lower sideband, of course, self-explanatory upper sideband. Got a CW mode here. A narrowband FM for CB and a 10 meters FM use in the main. So those are our modes. Underneath the mode buttons, we have the buttons here, which really control our view of the spectrum and the waterfall display. So by clicking the large 
looking glass plus symbol or magnifying glass the plus symbol here zooms us in various steps the minus zooms us out the two arrows pointing inwards give us a maximum zoom in and the two arrows next to it pointing outwards give us the maximum zoom out and incidentally on the maximum out you'll see we've got the whole of the HS spectrum from long wave on the left through medium wave 5 megahertz 10 megahertz 15 megs 20 megs 25 and 30 not many SDRs can do this you have the whole HF on display there so that's the two arrows pointing outwards the two arrows here one on top of the other zoom us into the band that we chose so if we click on these we go back into the 20 meter band and you see it's allowing us to look from 13.95 to 14.4 so we've got the whole of the 20 meter armature band there then we've got the uh, two large arrows here and that just moves us down in steps through the spectrum it's actually moving us into the different bands so you're actually scrolling through the bands so we've got a broadcast band there then we go into the 20 meter armature band top of 40 megahertz and now we're heading into the 19 meter broadcast band so another way of fast navigation I guess so that's the way to navigate around using the Kiwi SDR and in the next video we'll look at uh, the audio settings and the waterfall settings and thank you for watching